NCL Industries Limited, the flagship company of NCL Group, made its debut in Indian industrial scene way back in 1983. That was a period when the country was in search of a solution for the chronic shortage of cement that prevailed. Conventional cement units required huge investments for which there were no resources. The establishment of a series of mini cement plants which required modest capital investments was a new experiment that was suggested. The idea was a novel one, but the field was untested. Only persons with a real spirit of entrepreneurship and a willingness to take risks could think of a journey in such uncharted waters. Mr. K. Ramchandra Raju, a small-scale entrepreneur in chemical industry, was one such entrepreneur. He accepted the challenge and took up the novel experiment. Thus was born Nagarjuna Cement Limited, as NCL Industries was known then. The fledgling mini cement unit of 1980s is today a significant player in the cement industry of the region. With a series of expansion programs, the cement capacity has grown to 2.70 billion tons per annum. Unlike most of its contemporaries, NCL was not content with being a single product company. While cement has always remained its mainstay, the directors have been constantly on the lookout for opportunities for diversification. They identified building materials as the chosen field for such diversification. The range of products and building materials introduced by NCL Group includes cement bonded particle bolts with brand name Bison Panel, prefabricated shelters, ready mix concrete, pre painted steel windows, new PVC windows plasters, paints and emulsions and cement-based low-weight bricks popularly known as AAC blocks ready-made doors under the brand name NCL Door manufactured in a state-of-the-art plant set up near Hyderabad is the latest addition to its range of building materials Bison panels, prefab structures, ready-mix concrete and doors are produced by in-house divisions of the company the other building materials are produced by sister concerns. In addition, it has an energy division generating power through its mini hydro plants at two locations. NCL also operates its own ready mix concrete plants at 10 locations, six of them in Hyderabad and four in Vizag. These RMC plants provide the much-needed quality assurance to the construction industry and are marketed under the brand name Nagarjuna RMC, representing the premium brand name that NCL Cement enjoys. Nagarjuna Cement, with its superior quality and premium image, is catering to the markets of Telangana Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Pondicherry and Karnataka through 1,500 plus dealers network. Nagarjuna Cement is exclusive choice for many prestigious projects in the region. NCL supplied more than 8 lakh metric tons to Pulavaram multi-purpose irrigation project. The promoters of NCL were conscious that technological upgradation and constant expansion was the only way forward for a cement unit to survive and thrive. With a series of expansion programs, the cement capacity has grown to 2.7 million tons per annum, spread over two locations, Simmapuri in Telangana state and Kondapalli in Andhra Pradesh. Each phase of expansion witnessed modernization and upgradation of technical and efficiency parameters in terms of energy saving, pollution control or efficiency in packing and dispatch. As part of this ongoing process, the company is now planning further expansion by setting up a grinding unit in Vishakapatnam, modernization of the Line 1 clinker plant 
and upgradation of Line 1 cement mill in Simmapuri. With this, the total cement capacity is poised to increase to 3.6 million tons per annum. The Kondapalli plant has its own railway siding near Vijayawada Junction with an automated wagon loading facility. NCL is one of the few cement units which manufacture special grade cement popularly known as 53S. This cement is used for special applications like railway sleepers and pre-stressed concrete works. The cement bonded particle board popularly known as Bison Panel was much ahead of its time when it was introduced by NCL in the year 1994 in collaboration with Bison Werke of Germany. Being fire resistant and termite proof, the board is ideal for use as partitions, door panels, fall ceilings, wall claddings, fixed furniture and so on. In fact, it has the capacity of acting as a wood substitute in a structure for any application from flow to roof. The biggest advantage of bison panels is that it is eco-friendly. The wood used in this panel is plantation wood like poplar and eucalyptus and does not cause any erosion of forests. This quality of bison panels has been recognized and certified by the Indian Green Building Council. Besides fully absorbing the technology obtained from Germany, NCL has brought about significant improvements in the product through its in-house R&D efforts. One such effort was the process of laminating the bison panels. Today, bison lamp is the laminated board which has become very popular among the customers. Panels with self-embossed patterns to enhance the aesthetics and decorative tastes is another innovation achieved through in-house efforts. A further initiative in product development is the introduction of sandwich panels to the range of production. The sandwich panels, mostly used in prefabricated shelters and partitions, make the interiors more soundproof and provide better insulation from the vagaries of weather. Active interactions with clients and use of their ideas also resulted in bison panels finding their applications in areas not even imagined earlier. One such application is the use of bison panels in houseboats in Kerala to cater to the twin requirement of water resistant and fire resistant properties. The same properties also popularized bison panels to be used in kitchen platforms and cabinets, mezzanine flooring and wet area cladding. Bison panels are also being used extensively in most of the airport terminal buildings for effective acoustics. Increased awareness of the merits of bison panel resulted in growth in the demand. A second plant was set up in 2007 at Paunta Sahib, Himachal Pradesh to cater to the markets in northern India. To meet the increasing market demand, a further expansion with an additional capacity of 30,000 tons per annum has been successfully completed in the year 2018 by setting up the third plant at Simmapuri. The total capacity post-expansion is 90,000 tons per annum. With the above expansion, NCL has become the world's largest producer of cement bonded particle bolts and the only such producer in India. The ready-made doors plant, established in technical collaboration with AGT, a global building material manufacturer with advanced technologies is a useful adjunct to the boards and panels. Doors are marketed under the brand name NCL Door. 
Commercial operations of the Doors Division have commenced in December 2019. NCL Door is establishing itself as a preeminent brand in the construction industry. NCL operates two mini Heidel power generation plants. One is a 7.5 megawatt plant over the Sri Sailam Right Main Canal located in Andhra Pradesh. The other is an 8.25 megawatt plant on the right bank high level canal of Tungabhadra Dam in Karnataka. With low operating costs, they supplement the revenues of the company depending on release of water in the canals. The company has set up an 8 megawatt waste heat recovery power plant at its cement plant site in Simmapuri. In addition to reducing adverse impact to the environment, this initiative will result in considerable savings in the cost of power. This plant commenced operations in March 2021. NCL has made conscious efforts at energy conservation and minimizing energy costs. As a part of this drive, it facilitated generation of solar energy of about 8 megawatts at its various locations on a boot model. The solar energy supplied by the developer entailed no capital expenditure from the company. It also serves the twin objectives of economy in energy cost and being environment friendly. Much before CSR became a fashionable word and mandated by law, NCL recognized the importance of its role and responsibility to the society as a corporate citizen. It has established an elementary and high school in the year 1991, which extends free education and subsidized transport to children in the areas surrounding the cement plant. More than 750 children, majority of them being tribal, avail the free education provided by the company. To cater to the post-high school educational needs of the community, NCL started a junior college in the arts, science, maths and commerce streams Established in the academic year 2018, the junior college now has about 200 students. Within a short time of its existence, the NCL Junior College made its mark in academic and extracurricular performance. The first two batches of the college passed out with flying colors with 100% success rate. Considering that most of the students are from tribal and underprivileged segments, this has been a significant achievement. NCL is also running a well-equipped hospital providing medical facilities and even free medicines wherever possible. More than 2,500 villagers avail the outpatient medical facilities every month. NCL recently launched a campaign to encourage construction of toilets at every house in the village with the company's assistance. More than 40 toilets have been constructed with the assistance of the company in Mattapalli village, along with many other developmental activities. NCL efforts in pursuit of excellence and its consistent performance did not go unnoticed. In acknowledgement of these, the company has received quite a few awards and recognitions. CSR Award for the year 2018 
by the Hyderabad Management Association. Best Manufacturing Company Award, medium scale, for the year 2018 in the Business Excellence Awards of HMTV. India's fastest growing cement company, small category, in the fourth Indian Cement Review Awards 2021. Entrepreneur of the Year for 2021 Award to Mr. K. Ravi, Managing Director from Hyderabad Management Association. NCL Industries ranked at 171 out of top 500 mid-size marvels in India in the Fortune India magazine, March 2021. Crystal rated the credit facilities of the company and assigned a stable rating. NCL maintained a track record of steady growth and consistent performance both in terms of turnover and profitability during the years 2001 through 2012. A robust financial strategy of growth and progress, coupled with prudence and pragmatism, helped NCL to overcome adversities and emerge stronger after each period of crisis. In terms of operations, the company continues to consolidate, having crossed the 1,500 crore milestone of gross turnover. It is now in the striking distance of the 2,000 crore mark. NCL has maintained a steady track record of dividends. The company has paid a dividend of 25% over the past five years. The year 2020-21 witnessed a quantum leap in the dividend. The total dividend proposed for the year, including the interim dividends, is 40% to commemorate the 40th annual general meeting. Now, NCL has every reason to look forward to the future with optimism and excitement. The next decade promises to be an era of accelerated growth with several new initiatives and expansion plans on the drawing board. At NCL, every period of adversity has been converted into a fresh opportunity. Each setback and challenge has renewed our quest to eliminate weaknesses and improve efficiencies. We continue to march forward in our pursuit of excellence and towards enhancing the value for all our stakeholders.